A group, including the Eastern Province Governor, Senthil Thondaman, joined the visit following an invitation from Trincomalee District Member of Parliament, Kapila Akhorala. The local community gathered to express their grievances to President Ranil Vikramasinghe. Among the issues raised were the urgent need for a canal to ensure adequate water supply for crop cultivation and the installation of an electric fence to safeguard farmlands from elephant intrusions. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we can get from uh, MKY. Come on, Peter, Akaradi Hai, some pool, Mulu, I'm Akaran. Some pool, Makaraki, and Maka, Setan, Ampe, no. Come on, Panda, Katas, and Pramani, Rijuasa, make it pretty love than the blue. Rijuka, the love. Go to Mata, they come at a grand. They were a carmante, oh, the tourism, some may be able to get taken. What they are putting on the Kantali, Fini Karmanta, Lakar, theatre. Ethan Akar is the Hakar, 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 Tava Kaliko, Alagin, Kandai of Tino, Etikatano, Sakra, Paros, Dakar, Tama, and Akara. Temporary agriculture, Karando, the Latino, and the Mumbai permits. Okuma, Adukros, fifteen thousand kilos. Avijan Kala, Pia, Demut, Aturatino. So then the Pulu from Halitan, you also know. The President expressed plans to collaborate with India to develop Trinkumali. We have initiated a special program in collaboration with India to develop Trincomalee, in addition to the Trincomalee oil tank complex. There are plans to establish a fuel supply from India via pipeline. Alongside tourism, efforts are underway to create an investment zone to expand employment opportunities. The aim is to elevate the Trincomalee port as a major port in the east and facilitate the exchange of products with South India, thereby contributing to the overall development of the Trincomalee district. We are focused on developing the agriculture industry, animals, husbandry and fishing industry in the Trincomalee district. It is imperative to enhance the agriculture industry by creating highly efficient agricultural practices. Farmers should be empowered to restore and utilize small tanks, and attention should be directed towards enhancing crop yields. To achieve this, both the government and private sectors will establish agricultural modernization centers and agricultural service centers. We are receiving support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for this initiative. While India has provided technical assistance, modern-day youths are inclined towards smart agriculture necessitating the adoption of new technologies. We aspire to restore the country's past glory of exporting crops. We are launching the largest agricultural modernization program soon. With plans in progress over the coming months, we must export like in the days of kings. We exported coffee and tea under foreigners. We must restart our trade. We did not sustain it in our post independent era. We have opened all these lands. We are going to expand the Mahavali project. We hope to revolutionize the agriculture industry in the next 10 years. In the meantime, since India is opening an investment zone, I thought it is more suitable to open the second zone here. The rest of the lands owned by the sugar industry can be utilized for their farming. We are creating these program plans in the next few months. We must also increase our tourism industry. We will also look into the matter of the elephant fence.